Hello, and welcome to our lightning talk. We are the automated pit out lighting team. Our project aims to improve the safety of the Pineview Run Auto and Country Club's racetrack. Currently, traffic exiting the pit stop is controlled by the track marshal manually. He must visually inspect the track for any oncoming traffic before signaling vehicles to proceed or halt through the use of various flags. It is possible for the track marshal to miss these oncoming vehicles, which can potentially lead to life-threatening accidents. This is where our system comes into play. The automated pit out lighting system is composed of three subsystems. The first subsystem is the pit out light. This light signals to drivers when it is and is not safe to enter the track using light colors. Similar to a traffic light, green means go and red means stop. The second subsystem is the handheld device. This device is used by the track marshal to control the traffic lights manually. The third subsystem is the vehicle detection device. This subsystem can sense when a car passes by and report the detection to the pit out light. When this detection is received, the red light will be held on for a configurable period of time. While there were many different requirements for each subsystem, these were our project's most important requirements. The light must be visible to the track marshal and drivers at all times. All devices must be battery operated and rechargeable. Communications between subsystems must be reliable. Vehicle detections must be reliable. All subsystems must be movable via golf cart. And lastly, all subsystems must be weather resistant. With all of these requirements set, the subsystem's software, electronics, and enclosure were designed. Throughout the design process, prototype software and hardware was created to simulate the subsystems, and device components were evaluated for their performance. After the design process was finished, we began implementing software and building the electronics, PCBs, and enclosures. As each subsystem was built, functionality was tested to verify that the produced subsystem met the requirements set for it. All right. Sometimes verification went smoothly. Other times, not so much. But each time we encountered an issue, it was investigated and eventually resolved. After all of the subsystems were adequately developed and tested, the entire system was brought over to the Pineview track where it could finally be seen in action. The system worked great in the field, but there was still work to be done to finish the electronics and enclosures. Beautiful. That went so well. With the knowledge acquired at the track, finishing touches were placed on each subsystem. The remaining tests were closed out and the system was demoed once again in its final form. Afterwards, the full system was handed off to the client and the project was successfully completed.